reflection on love and the life that you have all this month and you can go back on uh, this Facebook page and look at the other videos we've been talking about being okay and loving the life that you are currently living this understanding that you might not be where you thought you would be at this time in your life but you might not be in a place where um, you don't want to be because the reality is that no matter where we are God will continue to supply all that we need and all that we have and so when we talk about loving our life you know it's hard to be happy for other people when you see them living the life that you thought or that you feel you should be living it's okay to be jealous it happens it happens to me it happens to all of us i think all of us will be lying if we say we don't get jealous every now and then but we also understand that when we look at other people's lives and compare them to ours that's what we're doing we're making a comparison their life is their life and our life is our life and what God has done for them is what God has done for them and what God does for us is what God does for us how many of us can really say that we have not been blessed by God I'll wait you might not have been blessed in the way that you want it to be blessed through your life but I guarantee you that you have been blessed in some way or another if you're watching this you've been blessed with the opportunity to have technology whether it's your own or whether you are somewhere else that is a blessing because there are places that nobody has access to technology if you are sitting here listening to me you have the ability to hear if you're sitting here looking at me on the screen with the with the pretty rainbow background behind me then you have vision so there are things that we've been blessed with in our lives if we just if we just stop and take a moment to really think about the things we have okay I might not have a car that I thought I would have at this time I might not be living in the place that I thought I would be living at this time but I'm in a safe place to live and I have a vehicle that gets me from point A to point B see the challenge is with all of this is that we have to get to a place where we love the life that we have and in doing that we have to remember the times that God has been faithful the times that God has opened doors where we thought no doors would be opened the times that God has provided and answered a prayer for us maybe not in the way that we want it to be but God answered prayer and sometimes maybe God even answered the prayer the way you did want it so you see you have a wonderful life I have a wonderful life we just have to keep, remind ourselves that God has a plan for our good not for our harm as it says in Jeremiah 29 11 so I hope you've enjoyed this time as we talked about really getting to the point of loving the life that you have. And I want to close with a scripture. Uh, Philippians uh, chapter 20, chapter, uh, I'm sorry, Psalms chapter 27, verses 13 through 14. Psalm 27, verse 13 through 14. And it says, I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. That's right now that you will see the goodness of God right now. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. Just wait. Appreciate what you have now. Love the life you currently have now. And be thankful for the life that you have now. I hope you've enjoyed this series on...